This unit is about civil liberties. Now, I already mentioned the Bill of Rights very briefly. What I did not mention was what a truly ingenious document it is, along with the Constitution. It's not unusual for a country, even democratic ones, to scrap their constitutions and make entirely new ones from time to time. The United States Constitution is truly remarkable in that it was the very first document of its kind, and we still follow it to this day. Now, there's an interesting argument related to this that I've read that says the Constitution itself is critical to the self-identity of Americans. The vast majority of Americans can trace their ancestors to some other country. So there's this central question of what makes an American. On the other hand, you know, if the people of France decided they wanted to scrap their Constitution, which they have like five times since the French Revolution, it's a big deal politically, but it's not an existential crisis of any kind. Americans, on the other hand, seem to view the Constitution as being on par with a holy document like the Bible. We truly seem to feel that it's somehow sacred, and yet many Americans have never actually even read it. But for all the righteous language in the Constitution, there's a big freaking discrepancy, and that's slavery. What happened to the Native Americans was horrific. Slavery, though, in many ways, is even more consequential because racial, racial relations, and we're really talking about between blacks and whites predominantly, but of course there are immigrants and races all, of all kinds involved. But this is really the central struggle of the United States, defining struggle. Now, Roots, which is a television program, it, actually, it, it's, a, it's a miniseries. It's an American classic, and it, it's great. And it goes into, you know, all the way tracing this family from Africa, right, when they were in Africa, and then they were kidnapped and taken to the North America. But it is long, and I mean really long. I think it's like 12 parts, and each part is like an hour and a half or two hours. Plus, it might be a little difficult to get, hold, get a hold of in all of the parts. So instead of Roots, uh, I think you, know, you should really try to get a hold of 12 Years a Slave. Now, this is a recent film and a very highly regarded Hollywood award-winning film, so it shouldn't be too hard to find it. And it really shows what life was like for slaves. But aside from that, there's actually some other interesting components to 12 Years a Slave as well. First, you can see how African Americans even in the northern part where they were free, uh, up in, you know, before the Civil War, uh, were still really second-class citizens. Right? They still weren't totally you know, equal with whites. Second, the main character's life is ruined when he took a job in New York City. The people that hired him, rather than just paying him what they owed him, claimed that he was a runaway slave, and with no evidence whatsoever, he was imprisoned and sent to the South. Now, this demonstrates some of the interesting history of New York City. Right? New York City is known as this capital of the world kind of city, right? It's very cosmopolitan. People from all over the world live there. And there's some truth to the notion that it always has always been a melting pot where immigrants from everywhere live side by side. And in fact, even before the revolution, uh, we believe there was a Muslim farmer living in the area of New where New York City is today. But there's a dark side, and that's the fact that it was always about money. Right? That's the reason all of these people lived together, is because money was the highest value that they were putting out there. And so they were doing business with each other to make money. So money was kind of the end-all, be-all in the city. And you really see this in Gangs of New York. The Gangs of New York really shows some of this ugly, dark side in the history of New York City that a lot of people uh, might find interesting. Okay, so we had Roots, 12 Years a Slave, and Gangs of New York. I particularly hope you watch 12 Years a Slave above all of those others. So anyway, good luck with the homework for this unit, and I'll see you soon in the next unit where we discuss civil rights.